Hey everyone, you've got our Leos the Paladin here, and today we are looking at the Glory of the Dream Raider. We'll quickly go over each boss, uh, what you need to do, um, and yeah, we did this in normal just to make it a little bit easier. It can be completed in any difficulty, but completing it in normal just takes a little bit of the strain off your raid. This is the mount that you get. The Shadow Dusk Dream Saber is the reward. It is a non-flying mount, a uh, nice little purple cat. And you'll also receive Sergeant Quackers, a nice little duck pet that you see standing next to me. Okay, let's get right into it, and I hope you guys enjoy the video. Okay, so the first achievement that we're looking at is on Gnarl Root. It's called Meaner Pastures. And what we have to do here, there are going to be several flowers around the very outside edge of the boss's room, which you need to burn in Phase 2. So when you go into Phase 2, the root phase, where normally you have to burn all the roots that are out, a uh, very similar thing, we need to have one person, at least one person, standing on each of the flowers to burn them. So in normal mode, everybody gets the red circle around them and you get your five stacks of fire. One of those stacks will get used up on these flowers around the outside of the room. Uh, then you proceed like normal, burn the roots, kill the boss, uh, quite easy. So there's no real individual accountability here. We just need to make sure that each of the roots are burned before you proceed. Uh, the tracker, the achievement tracker, does not uh, light up as completed on this one for us. Uh, so it, it may not show as complete, but just take a quick look around the room and make sure each of the flowers are burning. Uh, you can then proceed to kill the boss and get your achievement. Our next achievement is called Cruelty Free. It's on Igara. Um, so when you enter the room, uh, you'll notice off to the very far left and the very far right, there are some little almost cauldron looking things. They're the cages that the critters are being kept in. And for this fight, you need to land one of the spears on top of these cauldron looking things. So three people need to get targeted by the spear and land on the cauldron. Uh, one easy way to do it would be to pull the boss over to one side and then the other side. We ended up splitting our group, uh, not quite in half, but we had a few people go stand on the very far one and then a few people on the close one, and we ended up getting it done in one volley. Uh, and as soon as the flame spear hits these cauldrons, it frees the critters, and you are good to kill the boss as usual. So again, just make sure that uh, fire, the spears ended up hitting each of these cauldrons. Uh, you obviously break your spear out and continue the fight as usual. That will complete your achievement for Cruelty Free. Collect your achievement and move on to the next boss. Next we have Volcross for Swag Champion. Uh, one person, as soon as you enter Volcross's room off to the right hand side, uh, you'll need to jump down and grab a special horn that is listed here, or that is sitting here. Uh, that person will get an extra action button which needs to be used during the fight. It will summon a very large frog. Uh, once the large frog is summoned, you really don't have to do anything with him, but random little frogs will spawn and start chasing people. They fixate on um, people. Uh, what you need to do if you get a frog fixated on you is go stand beside the active tank. So whichever tank is active, just go stand next to them. Volcross will, every time he attacks, he'll bite down and eat the frogs that are there. As soon as he has 30 stacks, uh, you are good to go. You've then completed the fight, uh, and you will get your achievement. So this one's quite easy. You essentially do the fight as normal. Um, you just want to take your, uh, every time you get a frog chasing you, run to the active tank. Once the groups get split, you obviously want to stick with the tank on your side. There's no need to run all the way across the room if the other tank is active. Uh, just stick around your tank until he becomes the active tank again. So that one was quite simple to get. Uh, you have now completed your Volcross achievement. Swag Champion. Okay, we are now on Laradar, and don't let the dough hit you on the way out. Um, so when you first enter Laradar's room on the right-hand side, there is a little NPC deer named Ivy. Uh, we put a mark on ours just to make it easier to keep track of. You do have to usher the deer towards the boss room. Uh, so we cleared the trash first, and then to move the deer, you essentially stand near it and it kind of runs away from you. So you just have to keep standing behind it and pushing it towards the boss room. Uh, when you start the boss fight, you do need to push the deer into the boss fight area. Um, and he's got some burning stacks on him that need to be cleansed off by your firefighters. So you do this fight as normal. Uh, when your firefighter person starts doing their job to clear the fire and the brambles, you want them to splash water on the deer, on ivy. It will clear their stacks. Once their stacks are cleared completely, you are good to um, finish the fight. 
Now, you do have to keep Ivy alive, so they are targetable, they are healable. Um, we really didn't have too much trouble with that in normal, um, so I guess depending on how much damage you're having. Uh, one thing you can do when you heal the Brambles, uh, you want to have your entire group stand at one corner of the Brambles, and then usher Ivy into the opposite side so that no players are standing close enough to make him run back out of the uh, little safe circle. But again, we really didn't have any, any trouble with the damage on Ivy. Um, so it's as simple as that. Get your Firefighter to cleanse them. You do have to make sure that you don't push to Phase 2 until all the stacks are cleansed from Ivy. Uh, once they're cleansed, you, you can see it on the NPC, and you complete the fight as you would normally kill the boss, and you will have completed your, uh, your achievement. Don't let the dough hit you on the way out. On to the next boss. Okay, next one we are looking at is Ducks in a Row from the Council, so we're on the other side now. Um, so when you enter the room, if you head off just to the left, you may notice a duck who's up on the ledge. His name is Sergeant Quackers, and he's too nervous to join the fight. So what you want to do is have your entire raid stack up just in front of him, um, and your first few people who get ducked, they can either wait for their ducks to expire or go eat a few puddles and then run back to the group and unduck on the group. In normal difficulty, it just stuns you for a moment. It doesn't actually turn everyone into a duck. But as far as the fight's concerned, it, it ducks you for a moment, and he will become confident enough to join the fight. Uh, he will hop off the ledge and start running around. He's not targetable. You don't have to worry about healing him. He just helps you throughout the fight. Um, after that is done, then you can continue the fight as normal. So this one's super easy. Just have the raids stack up with uh, Sergeant Quackers at the beginning, and have your first uh, duck person just duck on the group, and it will complete. So again, super easy achievement, uh, this one. Uh, not anything to do personally. Uh, again, duck everyone standing just in front of him. He'll hop down and then complete the fight as usual. Alrighty, and on to the next boss. Okay, so the next achievement is a dream within a dream. So what we need to do on this fight, um, you will see is hopefully your raid leader set up some markers. So sort of on the, the edge around the room. We will set a mark where uh, five players will have to go and type slash sleep. You can test out the locations before you actually engage the boss. Um, you stand on the markers, you type slash sleep, it will enter you into the dream phase. Um, and during the boss fight there are little butterflies there which can be collected. Each of the five people can collect one butterfly. I'd recommend doing it near the beginning of the fight because any damage can break you out of the dream. Um, so the further into the fight you go, the more sort of AoE damage is happening. So the sooner you get it done, the better. Uh, once all five people have collected their butterflies, it will spawn a manifested monarch, which is a large butterfly, which everyone can see. And you want to DPS that one down as quickly as possible. It can do some damage to the raid. Again, doing it on normal difficulty at this point in the expansion, it should be quite easy. So kill the manifested monarch, complete the rest of the fight as usual, and you will have your dream within a dream achievement. Okay, next we have Smolderon, and haven't we done this before? Uh, this one does require a little bit of setup. You need six people. Um, near the beginning of the raid, there is a pool that you need to stand in. Um, so I'd recommend clearing the Smolderon, have a Warlock ready to summon, or kill the extra trash near this pool. Uh, you stand in the pool, you get the buff of a Dreaming Quintessence. It lasts for ten minutes. Uh, once you have the buff, get yourself summoned back to the raid. Uh, there are six markers, three on each side. We've marked them in our raid just to make it a little bit easier. You do need one person to douse each of the runes. So shortly after the boss fight starts, they will activate. You'll see sort of a little flame uh, animation shoot out from them once they're active. Uh, you will then be able to use your extra action button. It is a channel that you need to complete to douse the rune. You do want to be careful where you're dropping your fire puddles because you may accidentally cover your rune with fire or get some in part of the room that you don't mean to. Uh, but once you've doused all the runes, you simply complete the boss kill uh, as needed. They do do some raid damage when you douse the rune, so just make sure that you're not uh, dousing them too many at a time. Oh, we've now completed Haven't We Done This Before, and it is now time for the next boss. And now we're doing Welp, I'm Lost. So do the fight as normal. Uh, you're going to need to have trees. six people that you select to rescue some lost whelps that are up in the tree. So have everybody else do the fight as usual, except for the six people. Um, it is important to make the macro, have the macro set up so you can target them. As you can see, it'll light up the little um, icon on the screen. It makes them easier to see through the trees. It'll go through the leaves. Um, this person beat me to it this time. Uh, if you do get it successfully, the whelp will go on your head. So I'll just uh, give a quick view of what it looks like with the whelp on you here. 
So you don't have to click on them. You essentially just need to land on them or near them. And then it looks like they're riding on your shoulder. So as you spam your macro, again, on my screen now, you can see how it's lighting it up through the leaves. That's the easiest way to know where the whelps are for the six people in the trees. It's also very important that you get back to the platform before your buff um, falls off and you lose the ability to fly. So you can't spend too much time flying around the tree. If you don't get it the first time, you can do it the second time. Um, but don't spend too long or you will fall to your death um, and fail the fight. You get back to the platform and you just continue the fight as usual. So again, a little bit of a difficulty, I would say, finding the whelps initially. But just make sure the six people that you pick have all their dragon riding skills and are proficient in <laughs> dragon riding. Um, as you may have to fly around a little bit to find them. Once you're familiar with the spot, if you have to do it more than once, just have the same people pick up the whelp that they had already found. So it should be a lot quicker uh, for them to get back. All right, so uh, once you have your six whelps saved, then go ahead and complete the fight as you normally would, and you will earn your achievement. Again, that was Whelp I'm Lost has been finished, and we are now on to the last boss. Memories of Teldrassil. So this one requires a little bit more of a setup. You need, again, six players to get a Wisp buff from earlier in the instance. So once you are up into the room, go ahead and take the portal back to the beginning of the raid. Uh, and there are going to be a few Wisp locations, which I will put up on my map for you. You might want to bring a tank, a healer, and some DPS. Uh, if you didn't clear all the trash, you might have to clear a little bit more to actually get to it. Uh, so we went ahead, we cleared some trash, and this is what it looks like. It's a little blue wisp is what you're actually going to click on. So I'm going to go ahead and grab the first one. Once you have the buff, it's going to put some swirling wisps around you. It is a one hour buff, uh, and it does persist through death. So once all six people have the wisp buff, you want to go ahead and start the fight as usual. Uh, there's really nothing different for the first two phases. In the third phase, it's really just a healer mechanic. For the extra adds that spawn, there's going to be a large add that spawns. So we just went ahead and threw in an extra healer to make sure that we got it done without any issues. So heal the little adds as usual, and also make sure you get the big adds healed up. Once you go through this for six times, so you need to have six of those adds healed up, the same amount of buffs that you have, you are then good to kill the boss and get your achievement. Uh, so we are, again made sure that we healed all six of them before we pushed the boss and uh, once you have him killed you will receive your achievement and you will have completed your hero of the dream raider you get yourself a little pet two pets from all the achievements in here you get a mount for having it completed and um, yeah really a, a pretty easy meta i would say for the achievements we're a little bit later into the expansion right now so gears uh, not really an issue but I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did find this helpful, please drop a subscribe on the channel. It helps me out a lot. And we will see you guys next time.